Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianTheRussian.com. In this lesson, we will talk about the stress in the forms of the present tense of Russian verbs. The majority of Russian verbs follow one of three possible stress patterns – A, B or C. Pattern A. In all forms, the stress falls on the stem. All endings are unstressed. For example, the verb работать to work follows the pattern A and has the following forms. Я работаю, ты работаешь, он работает, мы работаем, вы работаете, они работают. As you can see, here the stress falls on the stem in all forms and all endings are unstressed. This stress pattern is the most common. If in the infinitive form the stress doesn't fall on the last syllable, we can confidently say that the verb follows the pattern A. For example, делать – to do, to make. Here the stress falls on the first syllable and not on the last one. That's why we can be sure that this verb has unstressed endings. Я делаю, ты делаешь, он делает, мы делаем, вы делаете, они делают. In all forms, the stress falls on the stem. Other example. Готовить. Here, the stress falls on the second syllable and not on the last one. That's why this verb follows the pattern A as well. Я готовлю, ты готовишь, он готовит, мы готовим, вы готовите, они готовят. In all forms, the stress falls on the stem. Besides that, the group A also includes all verbs ending with ивать or ивать. For example, спрашивать to ask. Я спрашиваю, ты спрашиваешь, он спрашивает, мы спрашиваем, вы спрашиваете, они спрашивают. The stress falls on the stem in all forms. Or сравнивать, to compare. Я сравниваю, ты сравниваешь, он сравнивает, мы сравниваем, вы сравниваете, они сравнивают. The stress falls on the stem in all forms. Pattern B. In all forms, the stress falls on the endings. The verb stem stays unstressed. For example, the verb звать to call follows the pattern B and has the following forms. Я зову, ты зовешь, он зовет, мы зовем, вы зовете, они зовут. In all forms, the stress falls on the endings. The group B includes all verbs ending with avat. For example, вставать – to stand up, to get up. Я встаю, ты встаешь, он встает, мы встаем, вы встаете, они встают. All endings are stressed. Also, the majority of verbs ending with T or Ч follow this pattern. Вести – to lead. Я веду, ты ведешь, он ведет, мы ведем, вы ведете, они ведут. Печь – to bake. Я пеку, ты печешь, он печет, мы печем, вы печете, они пекут. All endings are stressed. Pattern C – a variable stress. In the first person singular, pronoun я, I – the stress falls on the ending. But in all other forms, the stress shifts back one syllable and falls on the stem. For example, учить – to teach. Я учу – the stress falls on the ending. But ты учишь – он учит – мы учим – вы учите – они учат – the stress falls on the stem. All verbs ending with a stressed ot follow this pattern. For example, колоть. Я колю, ты колешь, он колит, мы колем, вы колите, они колют. In general case, a verb with a stress on the last syllable may follow any of the above-mentioned patterns. 
but in some situations, there are some rules and regularities which can help you to know which stress patterns we should use. I will show you some of these rules and regularities in my next grammar lessons. And now, if you want some practice, do a small exercise. You can find it in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian lessons on Skype with me. Thank you, have a nice day, see you at the next videos.